EdvoTech instructional videos. Transformation. For this experiment, you will need an E. coli source plate, a tube of plasmid DNA, nutrient media plates and recovery broth, ice cold calcium chloride solution and an ice bucket, a micropipette, toothpicks, transfer pipettes, and sterile loops, microcentrifuge tubes, two water baths set to 37 degrees Celsius and 42 degrees Celsius, and finally an incubator set to 37 degrees Celsius. Step 1. Label one microcentrifuge tube plus DNA and a second microcentrifuge tube minus DNA. Step 2. Transfer 500 microliters of ice-cold calcium chloride solution into the minus DNA tube using a sterile one mil pipette. Step 3. Using a toothpick, transfer 8 to 10 well-isolated colonies from the E. coli source plate to the minus DNA tube. Step 4. Vigorously twist the toothpick between your fingers to free the cells. Step 5. Fully resuspend the bacterial cells in the calcium chloride solution until no clumps of cells are visible. The cell suspension should look cloudy. Step 6. Transfer 250 microliters of the cell suspension to the tube labeled plus DNA. Place the tubes on ice. Step 7. Add 10 microliters of plasmid DNA to the tube labeled plus DNA. Step 8. Incubate the tubes on ice for 10 minutes. Step 9. Heat shock the cells by placing the transformation tubes in a water bath set at 42 degrees Celsius for 90 seconds. Step 10. Immediately return the tubes to the ice bucket and incubate for two minutes. Step 11. Transfer 250 microliters of Loria recovery broth to the tubes using a sterile one mil pipette. Gently mix by flicking the tube. Step 12. Incubate the cells for 30 minutes in a 37 degrees Celsius water bath. Step 13. While the cells are recovering, label the bottom of auger plates as indicated in your protocol. Step 14. After the recovery period, remove the tubes from the water bath. Step 15. Using a sterile one mil pipette, transfer 250 microliters of the recovered cells to the appropriate plates. Make sure to use different pipettes for the plus DNA and minus DNA samples. Step 16. Spread the cells over the entire surface of the plate with a sterile inoculating loop. Cover the plates. Step 17. Stack the plates on top of one another and tape them together. Label the plates with your initials or group number. Step 18. Make sure the liquid has completely dried before inverting the plates with the auger side on top. Place the plates in a 37 degrees Celsius incubator overnight. Step 19. Visualize the transformation and control plates. Some experiments require the use of a UV light source.